so douchebags. Well, real quick, let's see if Rod can jump over I'm gonna both do this. of these. Because can listen, do it? listen, I... Oh, you're too, you're never. too close. Never. Okay, never mind. Whoa! I thought I was hoping there would be a third jump so I could say <laughs> fail. but And then fail at it? Which fail! Would, uh, which would have happened. Oh, shit, oh, bruh. There oh, is. shit, Dude, bruh. Those, those bruh. I got it, bruh. Those red coin ones are tedious. I turn, I turn into a kiwi for half a second. Bree, Bree, I got it. I got the story. I bree. got it, Bree. Sweet Dude, there's, the this, weapons, bree. there's this really funny uh, anti oh, beach days, bree. Anti drunk driving ad from New Zealand. We'll link it in the comments. It's actually hilarious. Huh? They talk weird over there, man. It's like Australian, but they got little, they got fucking weird, weird ways oh, of saying things. That's pretty veils, good, bree. man. It's like special a, it's like a fix. weird special fix. Peter Jackson. Sweet book of oh. weapons. <laughs> <laughs> um. Lord of the Rings, Peter Jackson. Peach Dees, bro. Peter Jackson has a little Peter Jackson. fix. Uh, okay, uh, oh, wait. So, so douchebag guy. So douchebag story. I'm gonna do another level because that was frustrating. Um, yeah. Okay. So I, my uh, I had a relative come in who is a a uh, world. It was a cousin of mine who's a world renowned chef, restaurant really? owner. No way. Yes. He he goes around the world and he he's just kind of a world traveler type. So oh, he he's got his own cool. restaurant in Morelia and. Blah blah blah. Huh. So he, uh, <laughs> I was planning on just that. hanging out with that. him. I'm a gamer. I'm a gamer. I'm, I'm really a gamer, guys. I keep, promise. Keep going. Keep going. And so he, he's like, hey, let's meet up, cousin. I'm like, sure. And he's like, super Mexican. So thankfully he spoke. Oh, geez. He spoke so he reeks. <laughs> he <laughs> no. smells like a skunk. No. Probably. No, he. She, Whoa! He, I didn't know that. Yeah, that's what I was doing with the fucking plant. Uh... Anyway, a few uploads ago. Yeah, go ahead. Go so ahead. and thankfully he did speak English, so that that made it easier. Um, but uh, he he knew this crazy uh, uh, lady who owns a brand of uh, of liquor, which I will not. Oh, look at that! That Dude, was easy. You killed that man. Which I will not say what it is, but okay. Basically, imagine like the biggest socialite you can think of in uh, Los Angeles. So it was kind of nice because she sort of planned out the evening. <clears throat> so, but I'd never been in that kind of situation before, where like. Their entire lives ooze around the idea of selling themselves, and uh, every time they walk into a room, it's just like, "We're here!" <laughs> and like, "Oh my God, it's you!" <laughs> and every conversation was that oh, with these that girls. Sounds fun. It was interesting. Like I, for me, it was like a learning experience to see that side of it because they're always fucking are. selling. Yeah. yeah, but so me oh, and my see, cousin were just like, "Oh, whatever." We, he's really laid back. I was really laid back, so didn't make a didn't make a big. Sure. Wasn't too bad, I guess, just watching that. Right. But we ran into this other guy who was this uh, absinthe-like dealer, uh, who's sort of the <clears throat> same crowd, right? Except his whole thing was, oh my god, like, uh, I was like, so what do you do, man? Like, kind of, what's your racket, sort of thing? You know, just having conversation. He's like, well, I'm an educator. I'm like, you're an educator. That's cool. Like, my mom actually teaches in in Texas. She's, like, you know, she works out at. She's like, well, I talk. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh shit! Ah! He's like. <laughs> He's like, I, I'm, a, I'm here to, to fix the, the destruction of the American palate. And I'm like, what? the destruction of the American palate? Like, what the fuck are you talking about, dude? <laughs> and he's just like, and I was like, oh, you're a fucking salesman. Like, that's all you do is you go around and try to get people to buy absinthe or whatever. He's like, yeah, you know, I'm going around, I give seminars and I educate people about, like, you know, preserving, like, what's... Basically, he's like, I have good taste. I'm like, cool, man. Like, that's neat, I guess. <laughs> cool, cool. And he had, this guy has, like, way too much product in his hair and he's... Wow. And uh, I didn't realize it, but I I totally turned him off within like the first minute of talking to him, because I'm just like, I'm like, hey man, uh, what do you? So oh cool abs. And I was like, oh, I'm not too much of a drinker, but every night and I'll have a drink. And I look, it looked like I just murdered a <laughs> newborn baby in front of him. Cause, but then I realized so later, I, it's like, I can't talk to you oh, anymore. I can't sell anything to this guy. Uh, I, or, 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 or if anything, I'm not supporting. You're not worth his time. I'm not supporting his source of uh, of revenue, I guess. Back off, bomb guy. Well, I gotta kill this guy. I think this is, yeah. this is the star. So that was hilarious because it was just like, oh, I just, dude. this look of disgust came over him. And I was just like, what is, is wrong is with this guy? Crazy. So, uh,. And then he brings up the fact that, like, he's kind of making a self-deprecating joke, which I thought was big on him. I was like, oh, he's kind of a cool guy. He's like, oh, you know, I, I come from Alabama or whatever, but I try to run away from, like, that the redneck past of mine. Ha, ha, ha. I'm like, oh, that's funny, dude. <clears throat> and then I try to make conversation, and I'm like, uh, oh, man, you know, Johnny Knoxville, like, he actually mentions the same thing. Like, he was on the WTF podcast with Mark Marin. He talks about he has a big redneck past. Mm -hmm. kind of being like the ins insinuating that like 
Johnny Knoxville is a really fucking cool guy. Right. And he has like super redneck hillbilly background. Right. Roots, so, hey, nothing to be like that embarrassed about. Yeah. But he got like super PO'd about For being compared to him? That. Wow. I was like, dude, I'm just trying to level with you and like, and, like, yeah, or, or sort of like compliment what you're saying. You know what <laughs> I mean? That like, it doesn't matter where you come from, you can still make something of yourself kind of thing. You know what I mean? Oh, I, mean, I could have used this thing on the bomb bomb. Whatever. Um, you already kicked his already ass. kicked his ass. That's so, so weird, the, But, dude, man. it was just like one failed conversation <laughs> after the next with this guy. And, Why do uh, people care so much, dude? Dude, I, don't I know. Get I, I don't know. But I don't he, get it. He, he was just kind of a slimy guy in general. Yeah, so I, I, as sounds... much as I tried to, like, uh, I don't know, be a person, be a human being with him, yeah. it was kind of wasted effort. Like, he was just a sli- slimy piece of shit at the end yeah. of the day. But, wow. uh, you know... Well, at least he's oh, trying to preserve the American palate. Dude. I mean, that's in danger. Uh, right, I guess so. And then we, you know, fucking got in and out. But then, like, <laughs> here, here's the thing that was crazy. Oh, is I that, like, uh, okay, I actually don't know what the fuck I'm Whoa, doing. Whoa, good job. Hot foot it into the volcano. Into the volcano. So last story about that guy. Uh, he, oh, man, what, what the fuck happened? I'm trying to remember. He was just, like, the, he's just, yeah. I, I, just, can't, uh, I can't even remember what the last... One of the there was like a couple of things that happened that were like, wow, is this for real? Is this Dude, we need real? to introduce our guys to each other. Yeah, they might. So they can hit it off. They could hook up and make big time, make douchebag babies together. Oh, I gotta get. Can in you there get somehow? inside there? I think I needed the turtle shell probably to get in. Huh. Maybe. I don't remember this. Hot foot it into the volcano. Oh, oh look at that! Oh shit! Let's go! I always thought he said let's pickle. Oh, I remember what it was. <laughs> Which makes way more Dude, sense. Dude, okay. So we were having riddle time with this guy because he's an intellectual and was trying to impress us with, like, how, how like, charming and entertaining he is at a party, right? With his so, riddles? With his riddles. I have riddles. Oh, and I'm like, cool, man. Plus I like riddles. black and white and red all over. Yeah, it's like a newspaper. That's no, incredible. a penguin with a sunburn. Very- no. So <laughs> he's like, uh, he tells this riddle that involves math about, like, it's basically one of those hour hourglass uh, uh, riddles where you have two hourglasses or different sizes and you have to figure out like how to time you know it's basically like addition and subtraction right uh-huh. and one of the girls in her group figures it out and it takes him forever to finally admit that she's right because he, he doesn't even remember the, the answer to his own oh, really? fucking question <laughs> which was preposterous oh shit and um, <laughs> that was like already yeah, bad that's uh and he tells another riddle, and I get it in like two seconds. I'm like, "Oh, you do that," and everyone's <laughs> like, "Oh, yay, cool!" I was like, "I got one," and I, you know, and it's more, it's not math based. It's just kind of a like one a of those like, teaser. Sp- yeah, it's like a like the Sphinx riddle where it's like what cr- what crawls or what walks on four legs in the morning, two legs in the afternoon, and three legs in the evening, that kind of thing. Whoa, what is what is? Ooh, it? you want to, oh. wait four legs in the morning, two, two, two legs in the in, in the, the afternoon, afternoon. And three legs in the evening. Yeah. It's it's really like symbolic, this riddle. I'll say that. A sphinx? No. Oh dang it! But it's not. <laughs> it's very like metaphoric. Like okay. The, like it's not actually a day. It's actually a lifetime. <clears throat> What's the answer? A human being. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, like a cane. Like a cane, right? Ah. Right. So I had one of those oh, riddles, er, er, er. and I dropped that. And he knows the answer. And, and instead of being like, I'm going to let everybody else take a stab at it. He's like, Bleh! he says the answer. Oh, and I geez. get one sentence out. And I'm like, well, great. You fucking ruined it for everybody. Wow. Like At that point, I was like, I hate you. <gasps> oh, you yes! got him! What a Fuck perfect... you, rabbit. Fuck you, rabbit. You're going nowhere. Eat my Mario shit. Yeah, you bitch. That's a great way to end this episode. Great, great ending. Of TNGG. Temporary. Temporary. <laughs>